All right, so the final presentation of this session will be on TILT, a time-centric approach for stream query optimization and parallelization. And our speaker is Anand, um, Anand Jayaraja from University of Toronto. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anand, and today I'm presenting TILD, a uh, time-centric approach for stream query optimization and parallelization. This is a work done in collaboration with Wei, UD, and Gennady from University of Toronto. Streaming analytics applications are widely used in industries like uh, social media, financial institutions, and investment firms. And these applications process live data and make real-time decisions. In recent years, streaming analytics applications are finding even wider adoption in areas like, let's say, healthcare, agriculture, and climate science. Stream processing engines are specialized systems designed to support these type of long-running applications. Even though we have many different kinds of streaming analytics, uh, stream processing engines available uh, in the community, many of these systems uh, generally follow a common design pattern. For instance, the data stream is uh, represented as this unbounded sequence of time-ordered events, each having a validity interval and a payload. For instance, this particular event is valid between 7.15 and 7.30 and a payload value of 32. In addition, stream processing engines also provide SQL-like operators along with temporal uh, extensions like windowing or shifting or shift operations. And using these operations, users can write streaming analytics application as temporal queries. Once the query is defined, uh, uh, SPEs convert these uh, queries into data flow graphs to process events in the data streams. Even though this is a common design pattern followed in SPEs, we observe that the query representation model followed in uh, modern stream processing engines lack a unified temporal semantics. As a result, these systems can only support limited set of query optimization and parallelization strategies. Due to these limitations, stream query processing in modern SPEs are highly hardware inefficient and often perform one to three orders of magnitude slower compared to corresponding hand-tuned implementations. Now, addressing these uh, limitations and bridging the performance gap require fundamentally rethink how stream processing engines are designed and built. Towards this end, we propose TILT. TILT proposes a novel time-centric query language called TILT-IR to represent streaming queries, which we show that can support much more effective query optimization and parallelization strategies. We subsequently built a compiler backend for TILT to automatically generate hardware-efficient code from the high-level TILT-IR representations. Now, before going into details, let me give you a very brief overview of what I mean by time-centric query language. So as I mentioned before, uh, in, in traditional systems, the data stream is represented as uh, discrete packets of events, each having its own validity interval and uh, uh, payload value. Instead, in TILT, we represent data streams as a single object called temporal object, which assumes different values at different points in time. Now, when data streams are defined as temporal object, we can derive new temporal object as a functional transformation over existing one, over the time dimension. For example, in this case, uh, the value of output at, at point time t is equal to the value of input at time t divided by 10. This is called a temporal expression. And in the paper, we show that we can represent most of the common streaming operations as temporal op expressions like this. Now, due to the limitation of uh, this talk, I cannot go into details about the uh, uh, formal definition of this language. And if you are interested, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. Instead, let me talk about the limitations of traditional stream processing design and uh, also how TILT can uh, overcome these limitations. So let's start with query parallelization. Let's take a very simple example like this, uh, where a window-based aggregation is performed on every uh, consecutive 10-minute windows. Now, it's obvious from the semantics of this query that we can partition the uh, query execution over the 10-minute window boundary and execute the query in parallel in different partitions. However, if you have more complex query like this, 
uh, with multiple overlapping windows and stream to stream join. Finding the appropriate parti partitioning strategy uh, becomes non-trivial. As a result, uh, most stream processing engines either require uh, users explicit uh, 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 information to partition the data stream, uh, or they simply fail to uh, paralyze these kind of streaming queries. Let's see how Tilt can overcome this issue. So on the right-hand side, uh, I show the Tilt IR definition of the exact same query. Now the details of the query is not important, but as I mentioned before, uh, tilt query is composed of tem temporal expression and each temporal expression is defined as a functional transformation over time. For instance, the first expression, uh, the sum 10, uh, the value of sum 10 at time t uh, is derived from the value of input between the interval t minus 10 and t. This is called the temporal boundary of an expression. And every single temporal expression has this well-defined temporal boundary. And using this semantical information, we can find the temporal boundary of the entire query by composing all these functions together, no matter how arbitrarily complex the query is. Now using this temporal boundary uh, information, we can partition the data stream and parallelize the query across the partitions. So extracting data parallelism through temporal boundary inference like this, Tilt is able to parallelize any arbitrarily complex queries. Next, next, let's talk about operator, uh, sorry, query optimization, namely operator fusion. Operator fusion is a commonly employed uh, optimization strategy to simplify the uh, streaming query and uh, improve the data locality during query execution. For instance, let's assume we have a query with uh, two consecutive filtering operation. Each filters events based on different conditions. We can apply a simple fusion operation to fuse these filtering operations together uh, by modifying the condition that checks the two predicates together. However, if you have slightly more complex query like this, operator fusion rules generally fails in most of the stream, uh, stream processing engines. Why? Because these type of queries are composed of operators that follows temporal semantics as well as relational semantics. Therefore, the fused version of this uh, operations cannot be represented in, the, in these kind of query languages. So we realized that most of the uh, graph level query optimizers used in current SPEs fail to generalize in many real world streaming analytics applications. Tilt on the other, than, uh, other hand follows a time centric model. That means every single operation uh, in Tilt uh, follows a temporal semantics. And therefore, optimizations like operator fusion can be applied by performing simple IR transformations like uh, simple, sub simple substitution. And we can apply this IR transformation repeatedly until the uh, entire query is uh, fused into a single temporal expression like this. This, show the, this shows that uh, Tilt can perform much more effective optimization strategies using simple and generalizable IR transformations. Now, to get uh, more details about the compiler backend and the code generation strategy that we use, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. Next, let me talk about the experimental methodology and the evaluation that we use. So we compare uh, the performance of Tilt on a wide range of streaming analytics application. For this reason, we prepare a comprehensive benchmark suite consisting of applications from click stream analytics, uh, trading algorithms, uh, fraud detection algorithms, signal processing, and also healthcare analytics applications. We compare the performance of uh, Tilt against four strong baselines. Both Trill and Streambox are interpretation-based query execution uh, uh, stream processing engines, and uh, both Lightsaber and Grizzly are uh, compiler-based stream processing engines. And we run our experiments in a single machine with 32 cores and 128 uh, gigabytes of memory. So first, uh, we measure the uh, multi-core performance and the scalability of Tilt on the popular Yahoo streaming benchmark uh, uh, for stream processing applications. And we show that Tilt can perform up to uh, 13 times faster than interpretation-based stream processing engines like Streambox and Trill, and also 1.5 times faster than compiler-based SPEs like Lightsaber and Grizzly. On top of that, uh, Tilt can provide much better scalability than other state-of-the-art stream processing systems. 
Next, we show that Tilt can give the performance benefit on a wide range of streaming analytics application by measuring the throughput on the comprehensive benchmark suite that we prepared. And we compare the performance against Trill. And as shown in the figure, Tilt can perform up to 324 times faster than Trill. And uh, on an average, uh, achieve 20x higher performance than Trill. Uh, for more uh, results, uh, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. We have experiments uh, on uh, latency bounded throughput and also sensitivity study on the optimization strategies that we employed in, employ in Trill. So to conclude, uh, we make this key observation that modern stream processing engines uh, have limited opportunity for uh, query optimization and parallelization. And as a result, they significantly underutilize the hardware resources uh, and perform uh, one to three orders of magnitude slower compared to hand-tuned implementations. To address these limitations, we propose a compiler-based stream processing engine called Tilt. And uh, Tilt uses a novel time-centric query language called Tilt IR which we show that can perform more effective and generalizable optimization and parallelization strategies and provide a low overhead and hardware efficient runtime. We uh, measure the performance of Tilt uh, on a wide range of streaming analytics applications and show that Tilt can achieve on an average 20x faster than state-of-the-art stream processing engines. Before I conclude, uh, Tilt is open source right now and you can find the source code in the following link. Thank you.